All right, so I wanted to just do a quick video on rate of change. So this is um, for trig pre-calc, this is section 1.5 in the note packet. So number 13 and 14, finding the average rate of change. Just in case you were not able to come to class, I just wanted to clarify a little bit. So what I have up on the screen now is the Desmos app spelled D-E-S-M-O-S dot -S com. And then you just choose graphing calculator. So let's look at number 13, finding the average rate of change for the function f of x equals. So I just clicked on this keyboard here and now I can type in my function. So x squared minus 8x plus 4. Alright, so there's my graph there. And then I'm finding the average rate of change from x1, x1 at 1 to x2 at 3. So 1 is right here. x equals 1 is right here. Then I'm going to follow it down to the graph to see where it hits on the graph, and it's right there. So just kind of finagle it a little bit until I see. Ah. Hmm, does, there we go. So at one, ah, very tricky there. So at one, when x is one, y is negative three. So that's my first pair, one, negative three. So I'm gonna write that down on my paper, one, negative three. And then it says from one to three, so x2 is three, so one, two, three, then follow it down till I hit the graph. Three, it is not wanting to cooperate with me today. Three, negative 11, there it is. So when x is three, y is negative 11. So that's my second ordered pair. So let me just show you the notes here. So one, one negative three is my first pair and three negative 11 was my second. And then I'm just gonna put that into the slope formula and then I'll find the rate of change there, the y, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and then solve. So let me show you just one more. Let's do 14 real quick. Just throw that into decimals here. So 2x to the third, 2x to the third. I'm gonna do the a to the b here, and then type in three, and then cursor over here. Uh, plus x squared minus 3. So there's your function there. And then, um, so it says x is negative 2. So here's negative 2. Follow it down. So I see that x is negative 2, so negative 2, negative 15 would be my first point there. And then it says x is 1, so 1, 0 there. So those are my two points that I have. So negative 2, negative 2, 15, and then at 1 it was 1, 0. Plug it into slope formula and you find your average rate of change there.